Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bill and today I am continuing my journey to try to stand Lady Gaga. It has been a while since I've done a video on Gaga. A lot of people have been asking me to check out the Art Pop album. That is a lot of songs, so I'm splitting this up into a two-parter. Part two will be dropping in a couple weeks. I'm trying to spread everything out, give everyone fair and equal attention, and Gaga is going to be getting a lot of attention from me soon because I have officially purchased tickets to go see Enigma in Vegas, November, and I'll be having that video up from that whole experience for you guys. I'm excited, I can't wait, but I still have a lot of work to do. We're gonna be jumping into Art Pop. This is part one of two. I'm gonna be going straight into Aura. This is the Machete Kills lyric video, which I forgot she was in Lady Gaga. Straight up for a flare. Ooh, Gaga's dangerous. Machete. Get Mel Gibson the f out of here. I'm not a wandering slave, I am a woman of choice. Yes, queen. Do you wanna see me naked, love? Yeah, yeah, I do. Consensually. Behind the aura. Ooh. An enigma pop star is fun. Is that why it's called Enigma? I hear you screaming, is it because of pleasure, trial? Ooh, yes, Gaga. Behind the aura, behind the aura. Oh, okay. It's hot. Yeah, put your brand at the end of that, Gaga. Okay, first off, that song, hard. I love that song. That just, it kept this like constant pulse. Like, mm, it felt like that explosion of like touching that first physical contact with another person. The lyrics took a hot minute. I had a lot of um, celebrity induced visuals distracting me, but I love the message behind this song. You think I'm hot? You want to get with this? You want to sex? You want to do? You ready to see who I am? You ready to see Stephanie, not just Lady Gaga, the real person? That's a real name, right? The real person shedding all of that off. Literally, like like the lyrics say, like behind the curtain, like the real me. I love that. It was it was that challenge of don't just f get to know me, me, and like at the same time comparing it to uh, touching the cosmos. There was some real good sex metaphors in there. Very much applaud that. It felt like after a minute, like it just kept shedding off the exterior and the wall and just stayed exposed. It went back into itself, but it was just enough of an invitation and it was like, can you handle all this? The walls broke down consciously and then consciously built itself back up. Getting a glimpse, an invitation to look past the curtain if you're ready. Because it's so early in the album, it gives me the impression of like, there's gonna be a lot of personal, real stuff in here. I liked that, that slapped. Here's the next Gaga album, but like, hey, there's gonna be some real stuff in here, are you ready? What you would say to a lover you want more from, but also a listener of the album, like a preamble, like, are you ready to see more of me? I love that invitation to you, the listener, and it definitely intrigues me and I say yes. Next we have Venus. One day I will be worthy to call myself Stan. I'm at my best when I'm in love and I'm in love with you. Ooh. Plug that video, why don't you? That was part one, which is also why GUI is not gonna be in this video because I've already seen it and listened to it. I love that song. I also know now that she's Italian, so life's been different for me for the last couple months. Lady Gaga's Venus. Ooh. Rocket number nine. Ooh! To the planet Venus. <laughs> Venus! <laughs> Just from the back of the room. I gotta have the way I'm feeling. Woo! Gotta come up. Woo! When you touch me, I die. Oh no. Who's hurting her? Act sleazy. I gotta have the way I'm feeling. Mmm! Gotta some love, please take me to your leader. Mmm! It's a guy! that push through it. Got it <laughs> Woo! She literally orgasms in this song, musically. I wanna flip my not hair back. <laughs> that ain't Venus. <laughs> yes! I just want her to be happy. I don't have to be involved for her to be happy and me to be happy from it. My girl can write about sex. It does worry me though. One of the times with the, this could be love, this could be love, it like got super distorted and I'm like, oh no, what if it wasn't? 
It just makes me worry. I know hindsight's 2020. There's something about it that like pulls me back from the slappage. I'm like, yes, Venus, sex, empowerment, yeah, dance. I want to see what my hips can do and if they lie. But then it pulls me out just for a second. Like there's an apprehension there. Like it's someone wanting to give their love, but like it could be love. It's not this is love. Wanting to, like there's like this urge to give it all to someone, to this relationship, but there's always that pullback. Musically, it stays slapping and bopping the whole time, but lyrically it makes me stop and pause and want her to be okay. But I love this like out of this world theme that's coming here, being different, but in a good way, like a celebratory way of showing how different you are, how unique you are. Like there's a lot more to me than just the standard call me after three days. This is a different kind of deal. This is a different kind of woman. I like that a lot. Yeah, don't you know my ass is famous? And the draw to it, like it, the song is catching my eye across a crowded bar. She wants the best. Like she's not going to settle for anything less than you at your best. That's what I'm taking from it. But at the same time, sleeping with one eye open, gripping your pillow tight, she's worried. Like she's, she's stepping in, but she's still scared. It's reality, it's just life. And I think that also makes it very grounded. Cause it's not about take me to your leader, I found the leader. It's that searching. I like that a lot. Ooh, and it got me dancing from the start. And next we have sex. Dreams. Sex, sex, dreams. Sex, dreams. Sex, dreams. Sex, dreams. Last night. Ooh. Our lovers oh, dear. I was thinking about you. And it was kind of dirty. Good God. This is sexy as f. It was kind of dirty. Me. Oh, Touch myself and think of you. Ooh! Hell yeah! Ooh! I like how pretty it is. It's such a charged story and song. Make a love in my sex dreams. Make a love in my sex dreams. Ooh, what a little synth at the end there, a little blah, blah, blah. I really like that song. I mean, we stand a bisexual queen. I'm a little embarrassed that she got my letter and turned it into a song without telling me, but that's fine. But there's something so like universal and relatable, a thought about someone you know you really shouldn't be. There's something so playful and lively about like exploring that fantasy through songs, but then also having the like, OMG, I'm drunk and I'm gonna tell you this now. So it kind of gives it more of that, that messy feeling, which is why then there's a little bit more detail in the song, like we're doing a lot of nasty things. I don't know, it had like a nice story to it, but I love how, like, yeah, you don't want to go up to your friend and be like, hey, so I thought of the person you're banging in a dream where I was banging them, and it was pretty hot. High five, like that'd be weird. But there's also something so liberating and yeah, like confessional, so freeing in that regard, but it felt very just freeing in the sense of like understanding more about yourself and what you like and what you look for. It wasn't like, ooh, now I'm gonna take you, now I'm gonna steal you, now you're mine, or I'm gonna go wreck your relationship. It was just like, whoo, okay, so that's going on. It's kinda hot, but it was also just very, I don't know, just down to earth, like realistic. Like that's a very relatable thing. It was it was also just a fun song. That's a song I would dance to. That's also a song I would want in the Lady Gaga musical. I feel like that would fit in the context of a story so well and articulate two characters' relationships fast. But it was really good at just illustrating a narrative of where of where this person's at. Like, I really liked that. Every time we spoke about the dream, I could just see the setting change from like sitting at like a, a bar and then as soon as like going into detail, being transported to the dream and like now you're in the bed and mirrors everywhere and shit's on fire and there's whips. She's so good at having those distinct stages in the mental space of a song. Things just kept expanding and then it had a little out at the end, finishing it off. The thought, the thought. Come on now, come on, let's keep me monetized. But yeah, love who you wanna love, as long as it's consensual and you know, everyone's happy and no one's getting hurt. We stand sexualities. Jewels and Drugs, oh. featuring Twista and Too Short. Is it an overture? It's about that time. H-U-S-T-L. Don't make me spell. Gaga. Shut up and sit down. 
Me? Everybody want that money, but you want. This is the same album that has Gypsy? Oh, we used that word in a Lady Gaga song. That's my favorite lyric so far. Slap honey on a young pancake. Oh, there's, there's physics involved. And making antimatter, that's difficult. Alright, I'm so happy that you chose each other to work on this group project. I feel like I would like this song more if it was a song featuring Lady Gaga than a Lady Gaga song. It feels like the antithesis of the vibe I've gotten in general from Lady Gaga. Nothing's wrong with taking some time away from love and acceptance and strength and encouragement and courage to talk about getting that chatter, getting that money. In a sense, I think that's just taking a minute to sink in. When I was delivery driving, I like to listen to like car chase-esque music. It made me feel like I wasn't delivering pizzas in the suburbs of California. So I would like it in that kind of setting, but this wouldn't be a song I'd want to feel things from. That's not bad. I'm not mad. I feel like because I'm, I know who Gaga is now, this feels a little out of place. Woman got barfed on at South by Southwest to sing about sexual assault. But then we got Give Me Drugs. It didn't feel satirical. I'm not saying it was a bad song. It just feels out of place here. Like experiment, do different things, work with other people. That's fine. I don't have to love every song. I feel like I would have liked it then. Before Million Reasons, Till It Happens to You, before so many songs she's done now, I feel like I would have liked it then. I just feel like since I've been enriched by Gaga in 2019, I feel like that song just feels a little like, okay, I don't think I'm in the part of my life to hear songs about drugs and jewels. Like, I just don't think that appeals to me right now. Like, when I was working a bunch of horrible part-time jobs just to pay for my terrible apartment, yeah, I feel like that song would have helped keep my attitude going. Like, yeah, I'm struggling to make money just like these people are struggling to make money. Hell yeah. <laughs> drugs and jewels, please. But that's just not where I'm at right now. Maybe it's a bad fit for this project. That's just me. You could have written something a little more than that. Maybe I missed something. Yeah, you know, slap that pancake. Good for you for, for not sticking to the same thing. Shaking it up, meeting new people. Who knows, maybe they just really got along and wanted to do something slapping together. Like it didn't have a very nutritious message for me. Man, I, ooh, hold on. Man, I cure. Is it a play on words? Someone do something bad and now we're gonna fix that? Mmm, that Gaga growl. I love that lyric. Whoever does the guitar for this song is a legend. Damn, that one was a very growly Gaga, rock Gaga. Like, I'm addicted to love, but then like, throw me on the bed, touch me everywhere. Is it about being dumped and getting over it? Cause then it was like looking like a serial killer. It's a whole tray of Gaga pastries you can choose from vocally. And I love when she goes down into the growl. Ooh, and this one, like it really gave that like urge, that sexual tension and heat. But then like also talking about like how going to the salon makes her feel less insecure. Is it about like taking a step away? Self care? Cause it went from like, ooh, throw me around, knock me, slap me silly to like, I'm a addicted to love. Yeah, like a check-in. It's Gaga's rock good as hell. Just checking in, like making sure that you're ready, making sure that you're okay, like you're in a good place. Cause like end of the day, you have to love yourself before you can love another person. And it's not, your, your answer's not always gonna be love, like romantic love. Sowing your oats, getting out there, trying new things, trying new people. Then saying stuff like, I'm addicted to love. Yeah, looking serial killer man is a goner. Just breaking a lot of hearts. Save me because I'm addicted to love. Wanting to have the confidence for a relationship? Or is it just a cry wanting to slow down? Like wanting to take it easy? Intense sexual want and then throwing them by the wayside and that 
honestly, it sounds like it could go either way when you start talking about going to the salon for more confidence, like the pain inside of someone who's charged in that world. Like a grass is always greener, it's just not working out, like it's a rough patch. Didn't 100% catch me as a happy sex song. You know, on one hand, like saying like, if getting dolled up and getting prettified and doing your hair, doing your makeup, doing your nails, if that makes you feel good, do it. And there's nothing against that, I agree. But also I feel like the song was saying like, it's such a process, there's such a, there's so many steps to this and it's not making the person happy. It kind of felt like a cycle after a moment and then it stops for save me because I'm addicted to love. Crazy sexual fantasies, crazy sexual fantasy fulfillment, getting done up again, crazy sexual fantasies, crazy sexual fantasy fulfillment, save me because I'm addicted to love, playing the field and not finding the right person and wanting someone to stop this cycle by being the one. But it also like had the rock quality to it, so I super enjoyed it, but I just, I want, I want things to end well for you. I like this song a lot. Like again, I love when songs challenge me and make me think, and I feel like this song had a lot of different illustrations and explanations about that facet of life. Like it wasn't so cut and dry, it wasn't ooh, slaying, sexing, spraying, next day please, but it also wasn't, you know, it's not working out, who am I, when will I find my prince or princess. It was a good blend of both. It was like, yes, hot, yes, when will this stop? I, I really like that. I feel like she's very conscious about both facets of it. The fulfillment of getting it in, but then also the desire for more and for it to stop and to settle down at some point. I like playing both sides of that spectrum in that thought. And I feel like that song did it really well. And to close out part one, I have Art Pop. Let's see the Art Pop in its natural habitat. Comparison, that analogy. Ooh. Okay, duality with yourself through music and harmonies. I just let the music not stop yes! We could belong together. Yeah, she's singing to herself. My mind, yep. you make my heart stop. Yes, Gaga. She's singing about herself, 100%. That harmony at the very beginning where she's going low and she's going high and it's blending together. Yes, duality, but yes, duality. She's singing about that conflict between the traditional pop route and making art. Like, what does she want to do? Does she want to be deep and heavy and like non-traditional music or does she want to go the traditional route? Yeah, the melody that you choose can rescue you. A hybrid can withstand these things. My heart can beat with bear. Yeah, I think this is absolutely speaking to the two facets of her music and wanting them to be one. Because I feel like that was always kind of the early thing about Gaga was her music fit very much pop with a little bit of rock, but then it was like, oh, let me then get this across with the way she dresses, visually saying so many things, like getting people's attention, but then having a meaning to it. Needing a Gaga lesson for herself, like wanting her music to show her the way. Trusting herself, trusting her instincts to feel Use literally art and pop. Could try to sell you out, keep singing about pretty boys and summer days and ice cream socials at the sock hop, or do something real. My art pop could mean anything. There's so many possibilities for music, like not letting herself define herself. So how she's gonna define herself is with something that you can't define. Holy sh Yeah, I try to sell myself, but I'm really laughing. Like, she's not feeling it. She wants to be genuine. She wants to be authentic. She wants to be Lady Gaga. I mean, I really liked that, building to what she wants to be. She wants to make music what she wants to make, popular, important music. She wants to blend the two together. She wants to do what she's gonna do. She doesn't want to be defined. That's what this song is. Free my mind art pop, that indescribable thing that she's going to use to describe herself. Open her mind, push the envelope. Like the levels of her voice, and she's harmonizing with herself. And now I can, I, I can understand the devastation of art pop not going as well as she wanted it to. Does that sound so personal. Like first she gave love to the world and now she wants to give love to herself and share it with the world. 
I'm glad it worked out in the end, because a lot of people want me to listen to this music, so that's good. If ever Lady Gaga were to watch one of my videos, I hope she could hear the sentence, a lot of people wanted me to listen to this music, so a lot of people like it. Kudos and props and love and praise to that level of awareness and that desire for your career and your future. Way to take such a strong responsibility for who you are and what you do for the world, or what you could do for the world, or what you're doing for the world. That's beautiful. I thought I was already at capacity for love and admiration for Lady Gaga. And here I am, watching her give herself her own musical autopsy and just slitting herself open and going, oh, found it. I, mm, mwah. I'm really digging this album so far. I can't wait to do the rest of the music. Please guys, stick around for part two. It'll be dropping in the future. Or if you're watching this in the future, it's already out and go watch it. But what do you guys think? Do you have more suggestions for Lady Gaga stuff I should be doing in the future? Have you seen Enigma? Are you excited to see me see Enigma? So many rhetorical gaga questions to the camera but they're real for you in the comment section down below please don't forget to like the video if you did subscribe if you want more thank you so much to everyone who's been watching subscribing i appreciate every click i appreciate every every single one of you thank you guys so much for encouraging me to continue to do the things i love i think art pop really kind of hit me on that level of like hey i also want to do do something important and also hope that people enjoy it growth and depth i also want that so same z's gaga Samesies. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Later, I got spooky stuff around the corner for Halloween. I have Thanks Standing coming up in November. It's going to be a week of trying to stand every day for a week because I'm not going to be able to do every single day for Vlogmas because these videos are a beast. Speaking of, can't wait for you guys to check out part two of me listening to Art Pop by Lady Gaga. Yeah. Peace, love. Pause up. Ugh, she was the one who started it all.